My name is Ben Braithwaite. Uh, my sign name is like this, and that's because deaf people think I have shifty eyes. So I'm a lecturer in linguistics here at the University of the West Indies, and I coordinate a program in Caribbean Sign Language Interpreting in our department here, and I do a lot of research on sign languages in the Caribbean. Sign language is not universal. There are many different sign languages. Actually, even in Trinidad, there's more than one sign language. Um, and if you look all around the Caribbean, there are many, many different sign languages in different places and around the world, even more so. So whenever deaf people get together in a particular place, if they don't already have a sign language, they'll make up their own sign language. And as a result of that, that's happened many times in many places. And that's led to there being lots of different sign languages in the world, just like there's lots of different spoken languages. It's a unique and special language. It was created here in Trinidad and Tobago. It was created especially by deaf children in Cascade School for the Deaf after it was first opened. So the teachers told them that they weren't allowed to sign, they just had to talk, they had to try to be normal, use their voice. Um, but they went back to their dormitories and they made up their own language. And it developed out of really Trini culture. So uh, the kind of gestures that you see um, hearing Trinidadians do, you might see deaf, deaf people using that in their sign language too. There are, of course, signs for all kinds of uh, Trini uh, concepts like liming or a food like doubles or anything you can think of. Well, I think the most important thing if you're interested in learning sign language is to meet deaf people and the best way of doing that probably if you don't already know anyone is to join one of the organizations that's run by deaf people so for example um, the two that I was most involved in when I was learning to sign were the Deaf Empowerment and Advancement Foundation or DEAF you can find them on Facebook um, and also the Deaf Sports um, organization in Trinidad and Tobago. There are also classes in different places. You can find, find classes all over the country, including here at UE. We, uh, we have a program which is especially for training um, people who want to become sign language interpreters and do it professionally. My experience in Trinidad and Tobago is that lots of people have met a deaf person before. Lots of people might have a deaf family member, a distant relation or a close relation. Um, some people might have gone to a school where there's a deaf person in their class or at least in their school. Uh, people go to the supermarket and they might notice there's a deaf person packing their bags for them. Uh, they might have noticed on the news recently they see people signing. So I think more and more people are getting accustomed to the idea that there are deaf people around and that they use sign language. And I think the most important thing is to realize that really is normal. It's part of your normal life and it's a normal thing. Uh, it's nothing to be afraid of, nothing to be ashamed of. I wasn't born in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, but I've lived here for 12 years. And one of the things that I love about being here is that Trinidad and Tobago is a very diverse place. There's all kinds of different, different people living here. Uh, you know, that national anthem talks about every creed and race having an equal place. Uh, and we just need to remember that that's, that's true. That's, that's what makes Trinidad and Tobago special. So there are deaf people as well, there are hearing people as well, there are blind people, there are people of every different kind here. And um, I think Trimbegonians just need to do what comes naturally, which is to accept everybody, to respect everybody.